Since Heir to the Empire catapulted Star Wars back into popular consciousness in 1991, the Chiss have been one of the most iconic symbols of the expanded universe. But both among fans and in universe, the Chiss were mostly known only for their species' most famous member, Grand Admiral Thrawn. The Chiss themselves are largely a mystery. Nonetheless, there's a fair bit of information about the Chiss in Legends if you know where to look, and in this video, we'll be giving you a rundown on them and their civilization, the Chiss Ascendancy. Attention, Sergeant on deck! The Chiss were an interesting species, biologically speaking. They were classified as near humans, as they were very similar in most respects. But Chiss diverged from humanity in several ways. Externally, they had blue skin and red eyes, the shade of which became more intense the more oxygen was present in their surroundings. Most Chiss had jet black hair, but elderly Chiss occasionally had their hair go grey, which the Chiss believed was the mark of having sired exceptional children. Internally, Chiss had better metabolisms than humans, and they also matured much faster, reaching adulthood at 10 years old. In most other respects, however, they were pretty much identical to humans. This wasn't a matter of convergent evolution. DNA analysis indicated that the Chiss were descended from humans just far removed from the species baseline. Their ancestors were believed to have been the crew of an ancient Kurosanti sleeper ship, one of many shot off into the stars around 27,500 BBY. Most of these sleeper ships settled in worlds in the core while a few landed in the Tyon Cluster, far in the Outer Rim. But one sleeper ship went further than all the others, straying far into the unknown regions, where it eventually landed on the remote planet, Chila. Chila, initially, was cold, but not overwhelmingly so, with a temperate equatorial region and vast polar glaciers. The Chiss settled there and quickly diverged from their human ancestors, becoming their own species with their own distinct culture and government. In 5000 BBY, long after the formation of the Chiss Ascendancy, Chila entered an ice age that saw its glaciers grow to cover the entire planet, something that happened to Earth a few times in the distant past. But the Chiss survived this, and remarkably, they did so without all that much upheaval. They simply moved their cities underground, building warrens heated by geothermal activity. Either around this time or several millennia earlier, the Chiss returned to the stars, invented an analogue of the hyperdrive and formed their own interstellar empire, much as their distant relatives back in the Republic were doing around this time. This was the Chiss Ascendancy, which soon became the most powerful civilization in the unknown regions. It consisted only of a measly 29 worlds, but it covered a vast swath of space which doubtlessly contained hundreds of uncharted habitable systems. Combined, these 29 worlds had a respectably large population, with Chila, the capital, home to 8 billion Chiss. The ascendancy was governed by the ruling families, nine clans of aristocrats that each oversaw a particular aspect of Chiss policy, ruled alongside a democratically elected parliament from the city of Sasapla. The number of ruling families varied. At one point, there were only three, while at others, there were as many as 12. Of the nine ruling families, four were the most prominent and controlled the government, while the other five jockeyed for lesser positions of power. Of the four leading families, House Sabosan managed social issues, House Nuru'udo managed foreign affairs and warfare, House Inrokini oversaw science and industry, and House Sasapla managed colonization efforts and the ascendancy's economy. In spite of its oligarchic structure and prominent aristocracy, the Chiss Ascendancy had an almost socialistic command economy that prioritized equitable distribution of resources, and its culture had strong meritocratic principles. Chiss culture also emphasized military strength. They had a strong, advanced, and disciplined military that consisted of the colonial phalanxes, which were defensive fleets divided between different Chiss worlds, and the Chiss Expansionary Defense Force, which patrolled the borders of the Ascendancy. The latter was always vigilant, as the Chiss were surrounded by enemies on all sides, threatened by the Vagari, the Siruk, the Kilix, and later scout ships of the Yuzan Vong. 
They believed the Ascendancy was a bastion of civilization amidst the endless threats of the unknown regions, and their constant conflicts with their alien neighbors made the Chiss a bit xenophobic and strongly distrusting of outsiders. Thus, even when they had the means to make contact with the Galactic Republic, they didn't, choosing to stay out of the affairs of the greater galaxy. Chiss territory was based around Chilla, which sat at a junction of hyperspace routes at roughly the center of the Chiss Ascendancy's core territory. Each of the ruling houses had their own throne world, each subordinate to Chilla. These were located along the path of the houses, a route that ran north to south across Ascendancy territory, which Chilla was located at the middle of. Five throne worlds were located south of Chilla. These were Cyril, the urbanized home of House Tsetsapla, Savchi, home of House Chaff, and most of the few non chis citizens of the Ascendancy, Koporo, a shipyard world home to House Myth, Kassos, home of House Inronkini, and a major scientific hub, and Rigam, located in the Rata Nebula, a snowy world home to the foremost Chiss military academy, the auxiliary throne world of House Naruto. Those north of Chilla were Sposia, home of many prominent academics, and House Sabosen, and Napara, the home of House Naruto and the Chiss Admiralty. North of Napara were a selection of Chiss throne worlds whose ruling families had been wiped out. Those on Ornfra, Sharb, Norris, and Shesa were destroyed by civil war, while those on Katlia and Massos, which were east of the Ascendancy's core territory along the Phalanx route, were assimilated by the Kilix. The Chiss Ascendancy also included a number of less important colonies. Close to Chilla were Rentor and Jamiron, while east along the Vagari Corridor was Kormit, a major military staging ground. The north and south borders of the Ascendancy, respectively, were guarded by colonial stations Kamko and Chuff on the Chasdemunus route. West of Chilla were a further half dozen colonies, those being Avidich, Ul, Shihon, Oyokal, Theaterra, and Kinos. Kinos guarded the Ascendancy's western border, while the others were all unique in minor ways. Our favorite is Shihon, the native species of which were all boneless. The Chiss also had a number of colony worlds outside their home territories. We already mentioned Katlia and Massos, the former homes of ill-fated ruling houses on the Phalanx Run, near which were the border colonies Tanupe and Krustai. Closer to the core territories was Kelwis, a border world on the Vagari Corridor. A remote military installation on the way of Chessa which led from Chiss space to the Redoubt, a star cluster on the very fringe of Republic space. Pesfavri was built up as a precaution against Republic colonists heading too deep into the unknown regions. Most of the history of the Chiss Ascendancy is unknown. Like the Galactic Republic, the Ascendancy was ancient, with a history stretching back many thousands of years. Much of this time was spent battling aggressive neighbors and exploring the unknown regions. The Chiss actually mapped a big chunk of the unknown regions even though they only inhabited a small corner of it and established hyperspace routes led out from the Ascendancy's core territory in all directions, to places no citizen of the Republic had ever heard of. Most of what we know of the Ascendancy's history comes from their scattered interactions with the greater galaxy. As far back as the old Sith Wars, there were hyperspace routes connecting Chiss space with the Republic, and while these were extraordinarily obscure, they allowed a section of Chiss goods, such as the Charak rifles, to find their way into Republic space. The Chiss Ascendancy's first known involvement in galactic affairs came in 3681 BBY, when the Chiss allied with the Sith Empire against the Republic in the Great Galactic War. The Chiss only had a tenuous involvement in the Galactic Wars. They didn't do any fighting, and their alliance with the Sith Empire was mostly just a glorified trade agreement. But it was substantial enough that some Chiss Force sensitives were recruited by the Sith during this period. The Sith Empire lost the Galactic Wars in the end, however, and after its collapse, the Chiss again removed themselves from Galactic Affairs, and the Republic and the Ascendancy went back to ignoring each other. Their next contact with the outside galaxy was a few years before 1000 BBY, during the last stages of the new Sith Wars, when agents of the Brotherhood of Darkness, remembering the Sith Empire's old alliance with the Sith, recruited a regiment of Chiss to join them. These Chiss relocated to Thule, where they joined a secret legion of Sith-aligned elite soldiers that had lived on the planet for millennia. They merged with the Thulean population and stuck around for centuries, covertly serving the Sith during the period of the Rule of Two. Just prior to the Clone Wars, Count Dooku also recruited a pair of Chiss agents. 
the Dark Acolyte, Severance Ten, and her lover, Vandalore, both of whom died a few months into the war. The Jedi Order also had a Chiss recruit around this time, Kung Uaman Rudo, a Padawan who served as a Jedi Commander during the Clone Wars. But the most well-known Chiss agent to participate in the affairs of the Greater Galaxy was recruited five years before the start of the wars. Commander Mithril Naruto of the CEDF, better known as Thrawn, was recruited by Darth Sidious to shoot down the Jedi exploratory ship, Outbound Flight, in 27 BBY, following which the two men established a partnership. This and other aggressive actions of Thrawn's led him to being exiled from the Chiss Ascendancy around 20 BBY, a few years after which he joined the Galactic Empire, eventually rising to the rank of a Grand Admiral. On Sidious's behest, Thrawn spent the reign of the Empire on campaign in the Unknown Regions, exploring and forming alliances with the species he discovered there. In the northern quadrant of the Unknown Regions, between the Chiss Ascendancy and the Empire, Thrawn established the Empire of the Hand, meant as a bulwark against the coming Yuuzhan Vong invasion and a last redoubt of Imperial power. Said Yuuzhan Vong invasion ultimately brought the Chiss Ascendancy into more extensive contact with the Greater Galaxy, but that, we think, is a story for another time. But what do you think? Would you like to see more Chiss content in the future? Let us know all your thoughts below, and as always guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. <laughs>